pour a glass of craft beer, we can do this. Yeah. What's good, y'all? This is C Certified Brewhead, and welcome to another edition of Beer Mail here on BAOS Podcast. So today we have an interesting one. I bet you're looking at these bottles and you're like, mate, what the hell are you doing? Is this homebrew? No, it is not good, people. So we met this uh, gentleman by the name of Justin uh, at the CBAs. Uh, he's from a brewery in Ottawa called Stray Dog, a soon-to-be-open brewery. So I'm going to be referring to my phone a bit here because he gave me all the info in an email. So we connected. He was mad cool. Um, we followed up, and basically he sent uh, three of their beers. So they're opening, I think they're opening up the brew house like this week uh, right now, which is the like sort of second week of June, third week of June, something like that. Um, first day of summer, it's June 21st. That's exactly what it is. Um, so he, these three beers he actually poured direct from a tap. Um, so we said drink them ASAP, which is why I'm doing this solo. I'm not going to see Scott for a few weeks, so I just have to knock these out. Otherwise, they're going to be uh, redundant, according to Uncle Justin. So he sent us three beers. This one is an IPA, uh, 6.5%. It's called Misfit, 660 IBUs, and it's brewed with Citra, Mosaic, and Columbus. It sounds great. Um, this one here is their California Common, which I learned recently is a style of beer. They don't really have it too much out here. It's called this one, and he said it's called this one so that we made it easy for people to choose. They go to a menu and they're like, oh, I'll take this one. It's pretty smart. I like that. 5.2%, 38 IBUs. And this bad boy is a, uh, a cucumber wheat beer called Summer Slam, which is 5.2% as well, 22 IBUs. It's got a crap ton of cucumber in the fermenter post fermentation, so dry hopping with cucumber. This bad boy is what we're going to start with. Break out, out my trusty uh, brew heads uh, opener. Okay, not too much of a fizz, likely because of the uh, thing. Oh my god, it smells like cucumber juice. Stray dog glass, thank you for that, boys. It looks uh, very sexy. So I'm just going to pour just a wee bit in the interest of time here. All right, so that's got a nice uh, like kind of honey color in there. I- I'm not going to overly judge because, like you said, like drink them fast. Um, I figure if you poured it direct from the tap or from a, a properly capped bottle, it would have a larger head. Oh my god, actually, it smells like uh, cucumber juice. I had the uh, Nickelbrook Ceres recently, uh, which was on one, a recent video, and um, it smells a lot like that. Alright, get in here. Yeah, it's great. Nice and crushable. A little bit of more of a multi backbone than, say, something like the Ceres. Which is kind of more like a goza, whereas this is more like a definitely like a wheat beer. Um, I feel like some people might say this tastes like pickle juice. I don't really get that pickly much at all. Um, there's like a, I don't know, yeah, cucumbers kind of leave like a dryish kind of taste in your mouth. You get that from it, which is nice. This would be patio central, mate. This is a great beer. Mm. Let's see if he said anything specifically about the wheat beer. I know that the California Common, because that's, this is their flagship beer, um, and they're contract brewing it for now, for their licensees, until they open the brew house, and he said next week, and he sent this like last week, so I assume this week it'll be open, by the time you see this video, it'll be well and truly open, so uh, I'm going to knock this back and get into this Cali Common. Mm. Speaking of that, I always wondered why, my boy in Vancouver actually was the first person to tell me, literally like a month ago, about California Common as a style. I just thought it was like the name of a beer or something. So I'm kind of curious as to why it hasn't been super present on the East Coast. I know um, Mill Street uh, did one. um, And this is one of like the second or third I've heard about out here. So maybe they're like making a comeback or an arrival of sorts. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm. Mm -mm. More fizz there. This is the awkward thing when you're swallowing and... um, you're doing it solo. All right, so this is the, um, oof, definitely smells multi as hell. It kind of smells like a ESB. I've never actually had a California Common, so pop in the old cherry. I'll pour a little less this time. Okay, and then I gotta drink these all tonight, Tiff. I hope you're helping me. Nope, yeah, she gave me the look. She's got wine. Now, this head is much nicer than the wheat, so maybe it's uh, held onto it a bit longer. Gorgeous light brown coming into sort of like a, a honey color again. Um, multi is tits. You tell me anything else about it. I don't know much about it. If anyone has any thoughts on Cali Commons or some good East Coast ones um, that we probably better get, like chuck us in the comments. Um, anyway, get in here. Nice. Okay. So, hmm, it's good. Sweet, multi sweetness for sure. Um, 
He didn't mention specific hops, so I guess it doesn't matter so much. Um, oh, he did say this was was this the one that was uh, there was one that had like a um, uh, a winning award winning homebrew recipe, and I got a feeling it was this one. Uh, Justin, if I'm wrong, mate, apologies. I don't want to sit here and go through um, emails while I'm uh, trying to record a video. But these are interesting, yo. I I, I can see this becoming a popular style. So it seems like a North American version of an ESB. Tell me if that's uh, accurate or not, if, any, if I'm wrong. Very biscuity malt. It's pretty smooth mouthfeel, so maybe there's some flaked oats or uh, flaked wheat, sorry, or oats in there. Um, cool little like lacing on the glass. Yeah, this is solid. I'm not a, normally not a huge fan of like the ESB style, just kind of like multi beers. I don't know why. Like maybe I'll come back to them. I'm still in that haze, like IPA fruity kind of vibe. But I've had a lot of those lately. And I got a little bit too messed up the other night on some Bellwoods. So uh, this is really nice for a change. This is going down really good. I needed to chill on the haze for a couple of days. Mm. Great stuff. Okay, so the last one is the IPA Misfit. So uh, I can see through it pretty much. Oh. It's a little hazy. You know how that goes, guys. Mm. Look how easy this, and look how perfect the cap is, mate. Hit up Brewheads and get yourself a, uh, get yourself a little bottle opener. Get one for your mates for Christmas. Woof, that smells great. All right, Justin. Let's see what your IPA is saying there, mate. Okay. Ooh, lots of tropical fruit on the nose there. Citra, Mosaic, and Columbus. I'm not surprised. A lot of the hazy IPAs are brewed with Citra and uh, Mosaic. Slightly hazy. Like darker at the top there. Coming back into that golden honey, like, uh, what's that? Know, straw color. There you go. I'm using the same uh, adjective. All right. Get this one in you. Nice. This is like, oh man, this is great. This is like totally like a hazy IPA. This is fantastic. Oh man, fruity as hell, halotropical fruit. Nice balance of piney resins in there as well to give some like a bit more bitterness. So it's probably not a complete like northeast style IPA, but it's definitely on the juicier side, which tickles my uh, pickle. Man, this is fantastic. A little creamy, but not over the top. Oh wow, yeah, a little crushable at uh, six point five percent as well. So it's not like some sort of like crazy blasting. Yeah, it's fantastic. Cool. So that is the Stray Dog lineup for now. Once again, recapping, we have the IPA called Misfit. We have the California Common called The One. And we have the Wheat Beer called Summer Slam, a cucumber wheat beer. So um, keep an eye on it. Uh, we'll put all the information in the uh, thing below um, with their social media and website. So hopefully they'll be uh, up sooner or later, sooner than later. Um, and you can swing past the old brew house and get these bad boys fresh on tap. Um, I'm extremely impressed with these. No wonder uh, they won some awards for the homebrew recipes so check them out uh, and if you enjoyed the video give us a thumbs up subscribe man i'm burping like crazy man subscribe on youtube of course uh, hit the little bell for the notifications if you want to uh, see whenever we pop up new videos every wednesday and sunday follow us of course on social media at baos podcast everywhere say g'day and uh check out the podcast man we're about to release we've got a whole bunch more we're covered to the end of summer we've got some fantastic podcasts with some really really great breweries uh check that out all the links are in the thing below for apple podcast etc etc uh that's it guys get in here cheers